Time for hoops. The exhibition game Thursday for Arkansas women's basketball took a back seat to what happened during pregame at Bud Walton Arena. Gene Dumont has a story. Gene. Drew, on August 14th, San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick knelt during the national anthem of the team's preseason game. Since then, he has been joined by other members of the sporting universe. And on Thursday, the state of Arkansas was thrown into the controversy as six members of the women's basketball team took a knee prior to the team's lone exhibition game against Oklahoma Baptist. Me and my teammates took a kneel today during the national anthem to speak for those who are oppressed as student athletes, Razorback student athletes. We have a platform um, to do that. We love being um, a lady Razorback and we love our fan base and we didn't mean any disrespect by it. We just feel like a lot of things in society needs to change and one thing is police brutality. Freshman center Kiara Williams was part of the group that took a knee. Williams, the daughter of two police officers, said that she had a long conversation with her mom about the subject. He was just explaining that not everybody is like that and that you have to notice you have to know that too. Uh, she said that she supported me. Both my parents support me in my decisions and it's not just police brutality. It's why black women have to work so much harder for a job. Head coach Jimmy Dykes emphasized his support for his team to fight for what they believe in. I have their back 100% um, because we do live in a country that's the land of the free and the home of the brave. You just have to trust that, um, you know, that, that uh, people see their hearts. On Friday night, the entire men's team chose to stand for the national anthem ahead of their exhibition game against Emporia State. The, the kneeling thing wasn't us. It never came across our mind. We're just going to keep it like we've been doing it. I'm American first, and, and, and obviously uh, my dad was in the military. So, uh, you know, for the military, for our law enforcement, uh, there's no question about it. I'm going to stand, stand and salute it. I'm glad to see our guys. It seemed like they followed my lead. Now, the women's next game is on Friday when they host Sam Houston State, which is coincidentally Veterans Day, and the university is expecting four to 5,000 elementary school students as part of the team's annual elementary day. When they asked if they would kneel again, the team said they would talk about it and discuss what they wanted to do going forward. DA? Yeah, certainly ongoing discussion at this point, and uh, Gene, thanks very much. Great report there.